Welcome to a first look at the Vivaldi browser. Um, this is meant to be uh, my first exploration of the Vivaldi browser, not, you know, just an introduction to it. There are probably some people who know about it. And this is a companion video to a blog post that I'm writing about exploring different um, browser opportunities. Kind of looking at things that aren't just Firefox and Chrome though Vivaldi is based on Chromium, which is, if you don't know, the open source project behind uh, Chrome. And then Google adds their little bits on top. So um, if we take a look here, I'm gonna go ahead and make it my default because I wanna kind of, whoa. Um, Vivaldi. Of course they recommend Edge. Um, so I kind of wanted to mess with that. Now, since this monitor is a 2K screen, I'm actually going to switch these around. Bring this guy over here. There we go. Now things will be the right size for um, uh, for the screen, the resolution that you're viewing this at. So um, if you don't know, um, the Vivaldi browser is the spiritual successor to the original Opera browser. Um, they used to make their own uh, web engine and everything. At some point, they got bought by a Chinese company, and uh, some or all, I'm not sure how many of the founders, decided that they were going to leave and make the Vivaldi browser. Um, and uh, there are images uh, that you can download for Windows, Linux, Mobile, and I think Mac, but I'm not sure because I don't have any Macs. So I figured kind of poking around here, kind of trying to see what things are for the first time would be a little bit easier to see as a video rather than spending tons and tons of words since I don't get paid by the word or anything. So um, I kind of want to take a look and see what's here. So you can have a folder. I wonder what the folder's for. Let's see. Test. Ah, okay. So that's kind of neat. I think that's a really neat idea. So you've got now, um, you've got these, I'm guessing, and we'll see as I use um, Vivaldi more and more, I'm guessing that these start out with the um, companies that are paying to be here. Uh, and of course, Bing being the default search engine. Um, and then this adapts as you use it. I mean, that's how speed dial works on Chrome and Firefox and the original Opera, which was the thing that invented speed dial. But I do like the idea of having different tabs of speed dial. So this could maybe be, you know, uh, research or something. And so every time you open a new, oops, I forgot that I moved my tabs over. Every time you open a new tab, now you can kind of, you know, start from a different thing, right? So I could kind of see um, right now what I do at work. I've got a certain set of tabs that I open every morning. Um, these are the you know new sources that I want to um, take a look at. Um, you know, open up Gmail, a couple websites that I would open every single day. Um, what I've got going on on my Firefox is I've just got um, some bookmarks. I've got a folder called Morning Startup, and every day I say open everything in this folder, um, which is okay, but you know, kind of a uh, wear and tear on the system to load like, you know, f f 10, 12 tabs at once. Uh, so it'd be kind of neat to just have this speed dial that I'm customizing, you know, like this is my morning stuff, you know, this is um, the project I'm working on for work, you know, maybe um, this would be like Python resources, right? Because um, I'd like to do some Python programming. So maybe I've got here a couple different um, websites Oh, that's cool. So I've got a couple different websites that I could put here. Um, you know, like uh, maybe the Python uh, doc um, doc pages for some functions I'm looking at. So that's really neat. So far, I'm actually really liking Vivaldi a lot more than I thought I would. Um, to be honest, I decided to check out Vivaldi first because I thought for sure I'd be ending up with the Brave browser. Um, so, um, as I said in the blog article that accompanies this, I moved my, um, tabs to the right because this is a widescreen monitor, 
right? So um, your, your vertical real estate is at a premium. And actually this is kind of big, so I can kind of shrink it a little bit, although here we've got, well, here we've got kind of a nice preview of the page, right? Um, whereas here, not so much, but still, you know, so it's a little bit less useful. And I do like the fact that it shows you what's there because sometimes as you open up lots of tabs, it can be hard to read the, the text on the top. Um, and oh, cool. And there's all of my closed tabs. Uh, one of the things, so, okay. Also another thing I like here is that they're surfacing, um, your bookmarks right there. Um, let's see, let's go back. Oh, okay. Um, your history and uh, notes all right here from your speed dial page. Uh, and then uh, this whole rewind fast forward thing is something that Vivaldi has um, has been at the, a pioneer of. I, I, usually you kind of have to hold this and do some stuff. Um, so, uh, so there's bookmarks here. There's also bookmarks here and um, I don't mind this really narrow tab here. Um, it's I, I've been kind of bummed out that Chrome and uh, Firefox have moved away from having bookmarks. Um, here we go. Here's my important bookmarks because um, they kind of they kind of make you go like some like the equivalent of going here, you know and and it, it makes it a lot harder and, and I get it. I'm probably one of the last few people, you know, who uses bookmarks. Most people, if they're really geeky, they just leave all their tabs open all the time. At least that's what everyone claims like on, um, on, uh, Ars Technica. And if they're not, then they probably just, you know, are maybe even one of those people that instead of typing www.google on top, they, they search for Google, you know, stuff like I've seen people do that at work. Um, so here's your downloads again. I like the way that this is structured, um, compared to some of the other browsers. I like that they're surfacing a lot of things here and it's not taking up that much space. It's not like you have to really, um, so there's also the help center and a Wikipedia possible there. Um, what's this here? Okay. So here's your settings. Um, again, I like that it's nice and clearly visible. It's got, you know, the cog, which is the universal settings. Um, so let's see, homepage, Vivaldi.com. Uh, last session, that's why this opened up rather than Vivaldi.com. Um, cool. So I'm not going to, I assume most of these are mostly the usual. I'll probably, ooh, domain expansion. All right, well, we'll kind of start playing around and see where we end up. And uh, I might come back to that in a future post or a future video, depending on what makes sense. Okay, so uh, very easy to hide and show the panel. I like that. Um, so whether or not we are synced, capture the page. Um, oh, I like this, that you can do the full page. Um, if nothing else, I would definitely see this as um, something that I would use when I'm um, documenting my blog, um, there's a lot of times where I'm going to change the um, the theme, and so I end up taking like screenshot, scroll a little bit, screenshot, scroll a little bit, screenshot. So that is a pretty awesome game changer right there. Um, what's this page tiling? Uh, I guess I don't have enough pages. What if I do that? Can I do it now? So I'm not sure what this feature does. Oh, select multiple tabs. So I have to maybe pick them first. Okay. And then tile, we'll do like that. And that's kind of neat. All right, all right. I like that. Um, especially since most pages are vertical and don't take up all your um, horizontal space, which again is why I put the, um, why I put your, uh, why I put, <laughs> put the tabs over here. That's really neat. Okay, that is awesome. Um, that really helps to take advantage of of um, the fact. And I'll give you a great example. If we go to Vivaldi, um, maybe the features page. Uh, 
news. So if we look here, they're not using a lot of the space to the left and the right. So it wouldn't be a big deal to um, have the, you know, to have two pages tiled. That's really neat. Um, toggle images and animation. Um, I would uh, probably appreciate this a lot if I was on a metered connection. I'm not, but that's pretty cool. Um, I could see if you go to a lot of uh, dangerous websites, that could be really useful. And here's your dev tools. All right, and then you're scaling. Oh, I'm an old man. I need to have this super scaled. Um, I do like this bar here. And I like that it's pretty obvious what it is because sometimes I'll find myself on Firefox or Chrome. Somehow I've hit control and um, the mouse wheel or something and I've I've gone past 100% without realizing it. And I'm kind of scratching my head. Why is everything looking so funny? All right. So at any rate, um, huh, interesting that this did not update uh, the, the image kind of defeats the purpose perhaps maybe I've kind of monkeyed around with it too much let's see uh, let's go to my blog so here's the um, post that kind of kicked off um, me looking at Vivaldi uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, so okay, so it did it did update here. I guess there's just a bit of a delay, uh, which makes sense. You don't want to use up so much um, so much of your resources on that. So I will say I do not like this font uh, that that came up here. Um, let me open up in Chrome just as a comparison. It might be a Windows thing. Maybe I'm just used to always looking on it on Linux. So if I go to Chrome. And I'll say, you know, you're not going to be my default for now. Let's go to the blog. Okay, so I guess it's just this is the font that comes up on Windows. And it, it's, or at least on my version of Windows. I, I don't think it looks like this at work. So it may, it may just be the fonts I have installed or don't have installed or whatever. Okay, well, that's fine. So there's, there's my blog some scratch projects I've done with the kids. Um, so, all right, so that loads up pretty well. And uh, let's see. All right, I wonder if there's anything to say, update the image, save tab as a session, okay. Reopen, close tabs, customize. All right, let's see. Let's go to YouTube. Not going to play anything because of potential copyright issues, but just kind of, whoa. Oh, I'm not signed in. This is the stuff that comes when I'm not signed in. And I'm like, this is weird stuff to be showing me. Um, let's see. I think if I mute this, it'll be fine. Let's see. So mute that. All right, so it plays just fine. Um, Ah, picture in picture. I don't know where it went. Where did it go? Oh, it's all the way on my other screen. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's kind of neat to be able to separate it out like that. So, so this is here. Now what? So I can. Oh, okay. So now I can I can be watching this kind of like the way it works now on um, on a mobile browser, and I can say, oh, let me see my web page. But I've still got this here in the corner. I can be keeping an eye on it, see what Jerry Seinfeld's doing. Uh, while I review my blog post about installing Ubuntu on servers. Uh, all right. Hey, that's kind of neat. Um, gimmicky. I don't see myself using it, but uh, kind of neat. So. So yeah, those are. That's basically just taking a taking a quick little spin for the first time, kind of seeing what all the buttons do, seeing what all the toggles do. Bookmark, what does this do here? Read review. Oh, interesting. 
and normal view, reader view. I'm not sure. I do like this font better. <laughs> uh, not sure what the point of that is, but that's pretty neat. So then we're back to normal view. And oh, I do like here it shows all the elements it's loading. Secure flash. I'm not sure where the flash is coming from. Eight cookies. Very cool. And over here, action. Block trackers and ads. Six ads blocked. Do I have ads on here? Guess I do. <laughs> I'm used to. It must be, must be coming from this or something because I don't know what ads are on there. Very cool. All right, so. That's just kind of me poking around at first, trying to see what all the little things do, kind of get a feel for how it works, and and uh, just play around with it a little bit. And uh, now I'm going to use my default browser on Windows for a while. See see how it goes. Um, I don't do much browsing on Windows. Most of my browsing is on Linux. Windows is my gaming machine, but still be kind of neat to play around and see where it goes. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.